happy, happy, happy Heritage Day, my dearest South African subscribers and viewers. So today I would like to join you in celebrating your culture and show you how I make your Isi Cholo or Zulu hat. Hope I got that pronunciation right. So let's get into today's tutorial. Happy Heritage Day once more. So we're needing some pieces of cotton, all right? Then your measurement tape, of course. Then I have my taffeta half yard will be okay. Then lining one yard will be okay. Then scissors, cello tape, stones. Then this um, flowered or uh, lace trimmings, I think that's what it will be called. Then the electric glue gun with the candle glue inside. Then half yard of Ankara. All right, so let's get into it. So I start by taking my plate, which is measured 11 inches. You can make it bigger if you want the top of your hat to be large. This is 11, so I use my barrel and I circle it out. Then I take my scissors and I begin to cut. I'm going to cut out the circle. I'll trace the circle all around and cut out. So the next part I would cut out is this rectangle which is 24 inches. My head circumference is 22 so I added 2 inches that is 24 and the width is 5 inches. So that's going to be the round part that would fit, fit on the head. So the next thing you want to do is cover all these pieces of cotton that you have cut out to use to make the Zulu hat with tape. Now you're covering it with tape so that, you know, if you're wearing the Zulu hat and rain starts falling or something, you know, water, it won't change your hat to something else. <laughs> your hat will still remain. So you cover it with tape so its water would not affect it. So I'm going to be covering every single aspect of all the cartons everything no place is left untouched cover all so i'll just show you a part i'm sure you know how to do the remaining so let's keep moving let's keep watching and learning So the next is the circular one, we're going to cover it as well. Okay, you also want to check the description of this video for links to where you can get the accessories used and also I'm updating my other videos. If you check in the description, you'll see links to where you can get all the accessories used in making all the DIYs. Alright, let's get back. Okay, so the next step is to make the rectangular cotton that we cut out with covered with cello tape to form a circle. So with that, you kind of like have to weaken the cotton by doing what I'm doing. Now, if your cotton is softer, it may not. You may not have to do it more than once, but my cotton is quite thick, so I had to do this twice or was it three times to ensure that it curves where you see it's not curving it's not making a circle it's having some hexagonist <laughs> look so i had to do it again so that it would curve smoothly and give me the circular shape that i want okay so see yeah now it's giving me what i want and to an extent so just a little part more and it's set so the next thing we're going to do is to cover the inside of the heart so that you're not seeing cotton. So you turn it the way the inside, you turn that place and place down on the taffeta which I have cut in excess of 4 inches, no 2 inches sorry, so 1 inch would cover each edge. Do you understand? So instead of 5 by 24, that's the size of the cotton, I made it 7 by 26 okay so now i'm covering all the edges like so with my electric glue gun
okay so you're going to do the same with the circle so I'm cutting out a piece same measurement now remember I'm covering the inside of the heart this is what I do to cover the inside of the heart so when I when you look in it looks nice you're not seeing cotton so I'm going to cut it out and cover up the same way I did with the square part so keep watching and learning So the next step in making my Zulu hat is I take the rectangular piece that has been covered with taffeta and I put the glue on the edge and join it up like so, okay? After I'm done, I will take cello tape and cover it all up. So keep watching and learning. Okay, now this is how I cover the circular carton that has been covered with um, cello tape in the making of a Zulu heart. Happy Heritage Day again! <laughs> Okay, it's time to put the two pieces together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my biro and measure out a mark there. Where did I go to? Okay, hold on. I'm back. <laughs> All right. So I'm doing the markings there. Can you see so that I get it well? I, as in they are all placed at the same direction so what I did was I think it was one and a half so I'm measuring one and a half all round not really all round but like not south east and west so that I get it placed in the middle of the heart do you understand so see okay so now I place it there following my barrel markings to be sure it's in the middle and I trace it completely okay yeah that's done Yes, yeah, some biomax didn't show, so we have to get it showing. Okay, so I'm going to take my electric glue gun on top of those biro markings. Sorry, I used blue, so it's not visible, but I saw the blue anyway. It's there. It's really there. Okay, so you do it all the way around like that. And we're going to take that piece and paste on top. Put on top. Okay, like that. So that's the placing. Keep watching and learning. So... This is how it looks right now. You can see every part inside is covered. You don't see cotton in the inside. So the next thing we're going to do is take our lining. This is one yard. And I'm going to be checking um, how they put it. I'm going to use it to cover it up like so. So what I'm doing is checking the quantity that I need to cover like this. And I would cut out the excess. Okay, so keep watching and learning. Okay, so that's the excess. I'm going to chop it off. Okay, so now I'll spread out the material out again and I'm going to cut out the material to form a circle. That's the lining. I'll cut it out to form a circle. Just watch and see the way I do it. I'll just be carving it and be following a curve to form a circle. So I'm going to do it all the way around. Keep watching and learning.
if you're gaining value from this video please do give me a thumbs up click the like button below this video thank you Remember to stay to the very end of my video because they usually come with a package and you don't want to miss out on it. Alright, keep watching and learning. And also if you're in another country watching this video and you would like me to do yours, just write down the day of your national day or whatever it is you would like me to do concerning your country and give me the date and I will see what I can do. I will do my best possible to see what I can do really. So do write that in the comment section below this video. Thank you. Keep watching and learn. So the next thing is to do rolling stitches all around the lining that you cut out into circle, placing the hat in the middle. After that's done, the next thing is you start um, opening up the squeeze a bit to ensure that it all laps on the hat like I'm doing. That's before you tie your thread. So I've gone round and I see that it's okay now and I'm going to tie my knot. Keep watching and learning. Okay, break in transmission. So if you have not subscribed to this great channel of mine, click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my lovely unique trainings. Yes, yeah, so do it right now. Just take a break, pause the video and click the subscribe button. Let's resume. Okay, we are back. So what you're going to do is the edge there where you have your sewing, you put your glue, then you fold it in like so and click on the heart. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. Alright, watch again. Let's do it again. Okay, put it on that thread side to cover up the thread. You see, then I fold it in and stick. All right, so we're going to be doing it all the way around. So the next step we do is to take our pieces of Ankara. This is and cut into five by seven pieces. You cut quite a number, depending on the quantity you need to cover the hat. So what you do is you take your glue and put at the edge, not the extreme edge, just a little close to the edge of the material, and you fold it in. So I did that to both sides to both sides. If you look beside, you see the blue one that has already been done. So that's what you do and you do to the other side. Okay, so this is what you have when it's done like that. Can you see the two sides? So we're going to be placing it round like this. Can you see? That's how we're going to be doing it on the Zulu hat. It's a Chicholo hat. <laughs> I hope I got the asset. <laughs> All right, so now I'm um, Try to check it to see where I'm going to put it, how I will place it, and where I need to put the glue so it can be sided. So I put the glue on that side. Can you see? Then I place it on top. You kind of follow the curving of the hat. Don't make it so you follow the curving of the hat. You turn the other side and you see I'm checking. Then I put the glue. Remember that the height of the hat was five. So that's why this is made seven. So one inch to cover both edges. No, not edges, but as in both the top and the bottom. All right, okay, so that's it. So we curve it like so, okay. Okay, so let's place the next one so you see how we do it. You can make use of um, different Ankara pieces. Um, depends on you and cut them like this and put them one after the other, so. Okay, I was putting it wrongly. I'm going to change it. You can see there's a little space. You have to ensure it overlaps on the other one, like so. Okay, so you curve it around the hat. All right. You 
to the other side. Okay, then you also do to cover up the joining there. Okay, so keep watching and learning. Okay, so let's put the last piece together. So I'm checking, yeah, it's going to cover it. So I'm going to put at the edge the, le the um, length of 7 inches. First, I'll put the electric glue gun there. I noticed putting on the edges was actually faster, so I started doing that to put on the edges first. So I'll put it like that and do, can you see? Uh-huh, okay. So I'm saying check in, it's covering all the parts. Neat and nice. Doesn't it look beautiful already? Yeah. Okay, then I do this other side. Then I place it. Hmm. See how it forms that flower at the other side. Oh so cute. Hope it's feeling cute to you too, or looking cute rather. Then I do that edge and fold it in, okay? Then I turn to do the other side, the top of the hat. Okay, that's done. Okay, so isn't our hat coming out lovely? We ain't finished yet. We still have much to do. Okay, see how it looks from... Wow! Okay, another break before we complete our DIY on our Icholo, Icicholo hat. So, I'd like to show you the classes we have available in the Vent Craft Academy. Right now, we have eight in number, ranging from brooch class one to three, to fascinator class one to two, to miss class one to two, and turban class. You want to check in the description of this channel to see the link to the, the Vent Craft Academy reception where you get to learn more about these trainings and also we do give some free trainings like we have we spoke about millinery hat, hat wire we've done um, crinoline so many other lovely trainings free of charge for you okay okay back to our training so I used this the plate to cut out the pad the wording the interface and patchwork the hard one that is like cut on so I cut that out and now I'm going to be gluing it to the Ankara. So I cut out this. Okay, so I put the glue. Ensure you don't put the glue at the edge. It should be close to the edge so it doesn't spill off. So I did that. Then I'm going to scatter glue all around like that. Okay. Alright, then I noticed that there are some huge patches of glue and I don't want it to stain my Ankara. So I'm going to take it. So a piece of um, material and then um, spread out that part. If you have a brush, you, you can use it. This to ensure that the Ankara doesn't get stained with the glue. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, then I turn it the other way and put it. Remember the Ankara is faced upside down, you know, okay. So I place it there so that by the time you turn it, the right side will be on top. Okay, so I place it like so. All right, and that's it okay now remember your um, your second the second was um, 11 inches so you want to cut out um, your material should be at least 12 13 inches so that it will be um, bigger than the second so now I'm measuring out one inch I'm going to measure that all the way around you soon see what we're going to do with that one inch So you cut that all the way around. Ok, 
okay then you start cutting it like one to two inches apart like that can you see that's called notching once that done you start putting your glue and folding it in like this or or instead of putting it on the anchor you put it directly on the pad like so and you do it all the way round. okay once that's done you now take your electric glue gun and put the glue close to the edge remember you don't do at the edge so it doesn't spill and spoil your work so I'm going to do it all the way around like so okay ba 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 all around okay then I would close it up like that keep watching and blend in Okay, so to make the inside of my hat look neater, I actually put bias all the way around. So just watch as I conclude putting up the bias. I like my work looking neat, everything. So inside, outside, looking spectacular. Okay, remember the streaming so I'm going to be cutting out the lace part so it's I will be able to use it the way I want to use okay then you take it you get the middle on the part there's the front part of the hat where I want to be in the front so I'm going to start from the middle to glue it and glue it at the edge there okay so I'm going to be making use of Uhu gun to do that Sorry about that one. Okay, so keep watching and then it. Okay, so I put it all the way around. I stick it with Uhu all the way around, so that's it. Then the next thing I do is to do my stoning. I use B6000. That's how I made this lovely Zulu each is siege holo hat. So let me know if you liked it and you would like to make yours this way. You see this lovely dress? It was made by Unique Creative World. The contact details is below in the description of this video. Okay, so for staying with me to the very end of this lengthy video, I would like to appreciate you all and then give a gift to one person yes so you know I'm Nigerian yes okay so we have a national day coming up what day is that if you know it write it in the comment section the first to get it right gets to what get to attend the Vencraft Academy training brush class one for free thank you all for staying with me and watching how I made the Ichi Isi Cholo Zulu, Zulu hat. Happy Heritage Day once more, South Africa.